So what is the molecular mass of beryllium chloride? Well, it turns out I can use this handy dandy table to help us organize our thoughts. Bam, so the first thing I'm gonna do is write down the particular element. So I have beryllium, BE, and I have chlorine, CL. The next is to write down the number of atoms and that's where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of beryllium, there is a one, even though it's not there, there is a one there. And then chlorine, the bottom of that is a two, right? So I have two chlorines, that means. That's what the subscripts tell us. Then we're gonna multiply by the mass of each element, and that's where we use our periodic table, so let's check it out. So beryllium here is about 9.01, and chlorine here is about 35.45. They Those units there for those numbers would be either gram per mole if you're calculating molar mass, or AMU if you're calculating molecular mass, all right? So this is going to be 9.01, and then the uh, molar mass of then chlorine is about 35, 35.45. And now to find the total mass then of the uh, individual element, we just simply multiply this row across. So 1 times 9.01 means that there's a total mass of beryllium of 9.01. And then 2 times 35.45 for chlorine means that there is a total of 70.90 uh, units of mass for chlorine. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, just simply add that column together. And when you do that, it works out to be 79.91. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in AMU, or AKA atomic mass units. Thanks again for tuning in. We got thousands of other videos out there for you, different subjects as well, math and physics, and we got biology coming out soon. We got a whole bunch of stuff out there, okay? We'd love to help you through your class. Thank you very much.